OCD is a relatively common and chronic mental health disorder. People with OCD experience intrusive, repetitive, and unwanted thoughts, images, or urges. And those typically come with a spike of uncomfortable feelings. So things like anxiety, doubt, fear, or disgust. To be clear, a lot of people experience intrusive thoughts, but with an OCD brain, it tends to get hooked into an intense cycle of obsessions and compulsions. Because what happens is in an attempt to neutralize those uncomfortable feelings, people with OCD frequently engage in compulsions and compulsions provide short-term relief. So a compulsion might be something physical, like hand washing or checking, like what you sort of see in the media. It can also be mental, you know, things that happen just inside the mind, like mental reviews, mental checking, or counting. For people with OCD though, each time they do the compulsion, it reinforces the obsession, which makes the cycle worse and worse over time. Now, with that said, OCD is complex. It can be tricky to diagnose, so it's important that they get a thorough assessment from a clinician who's trained in OCD. In our intensive outpatients OCD track, you can expect three hours a day, three days a week of treatment that is specifically geared toward addressing the OCD cycle and changing the ways in which you or your child responds to obsessional fears. And the treatment is highly experiential, which means we don't just sit around and talk about OCD. So you should expect to do things every day that break the rules of OCD. At Embark, we take a developmental and relational approach to all of our treatments, and that absolutely includes our OCD treatments. Because anxiety is so relational, it's hard to tolerate seeing someone who you love struggling with that spike of anxiety. So, you know, with the best of intentions, parents and caregivers and family members often end up trying to fix in a way that actually reinforces the compulsions. And so we help parents and caregivers and other family members learn how to co-regulate in a way that supports their kid without supporting the OCD or reinforcing the OCD. Exposure and response prevention is a behavior-based treatment that is extremely effective for people with OCD. The basis of ERP is that we confront those thoughts, images, or urges to intentionally cause a spike of anxiety. We spend time with those uncomfortable thoughts and feelings without engaging in compulsive thoughts or behaviors, and also without avoiding them. Now, this helps to not only disconfirm our fears, but also acclimate to uncomfortable feelings. And over time, we learn that we don't actually need to engage in compulsions because anxiety, fear, uncertainty, disgust, those feelings do dissipate naturally over time. In the same way that every time we do a compulsion, it gets stronger. When we don't do the compulsion, the urge becomes less and less powerful over time. It's important to know that OCD treatment is hard work, but it's very treatable, so it's absolutely worth it. I'll tell you, ERP has helped so many young people reclaim their lives. OCD can make it extremely difficult to do things like go to school and even getting into treatment can be challenging. And this is one of the reasons why we offer an OCD specific track in our virtual IOP program, as well as in person. So we can really meet people where they are. I've seen multiple teens in our virtual track start working on doing exposures to help them get out of the house and help them really get back into the world and then transition to in-person programming and continue to progress and improve. The bottom line is that there are so many benefits to facing your fears. And we can help teens do that in a safe and gradual way that can help them get their lives back.